Tom Jones and welcome to another free art lesson. Uh, this is a special week here in Raleigh, North Carolina. We have Art of the Carolinas this week. It's the largest gathering of student artists, teachers, and vendors from around the world. I hope you can join us. Now let's get started on this free art lesson. I want to show you how to do a mountain and a tree area, but I want to show you how to soften some of the edges so we have a variety of edge, meaning hard edge and soft edge, rather than just one or the other. It makes for a in more interesting subject matter in your painting. So let me show you how that gets started. I'm going to go ahead and start with the mountain first. I'm going to put some color in and then follow along with me. And then what I'll do is I'll stop and I'll soften those edges for you. So stay with me. Let me pick up some color. I'm going to pick up some, in this case, Prussian blue, maybe a little hooker green, what would you think of as basically mountain colors. And I'm just going to come in and I'm going to lay in some color with my brush. Now what I want to do is I want to change color uh, fairly often here as well. So I'll come in and I'll pick up maybe a little yellow, just as a little uh, a light area to the top of the mountain. And I'm going to change color again. I'm going to go back to a darker color and put that color in then get maybe even a little darker. Let me pick up some more Prussian blue in this case. We'll get just a little darker in an area of the mountain. I may switch color again. I may add a little bit of my uh, quinacridone rose uh, into the mix and get a little warmer in this case. Now this is not necessarily a lesson in color and so forth, but I just want to show you an easy way to put in some color and then show you how I would soften some of the edges. I've got a little bottle with some water in it. So what I want to do is I want to come up to the top of the mountain and I'm just putting in a little bit of color or a little bit of water at the top of this mountain. And I want this just to run just a little bit. So I'm going to tilt the paper. Now I can either tilt the paper or for you, you may want to work on a surface that maybe has a little bit more of an angle. But anyway, we want to soften some of the edge. So I'm going to take a tissue in this case and we'll come in and we'll just pick up some of the color so that we have a soft edge and a hard edge going on. Now I have a thirsty brush here, which means that it's basically not dry, but it uh, just has a little bit of water and it'll pick up some of that color. So now I have a soft edge and a hard edge going on in the mountain area. Just another area maybe uh, that I'll hit here with just a little bit of water in a couple of areas. And then I'll have a variety of edge. Now, why is this important? Because again, you want variety to make your painting more interesting. But just as important, you want to remember that we, as a general rule, will work in thirds, meaning that I'll have approximately maybe one third of the edge of the mountain soft edge and two thirds hard edge or vice versa. And that's your decision to make. So a soft edge and hard edge going on in the mountain. You'll notice a hard edge here, a softer edge coming back into a harder edge and then maybe a softer edge up here. So that's very important in the mountain. Now what I want to do is I want to take and soften this area below the mountain just a little bit and I'll take a little bit of tissue and then what I'll do is I'll just pick up some of that excess color in this area because I want to show you how I can put in a tree area and do the same idea of having a variety of soft edge and hard edge in the tree area as well. So I'm going to take a moment now, I'm going to dry this right now and I'll come back and then we'll do the tree area. Now that area is completely dry. So what I want to do now is I want to show you how to do the soft edge and hard edge in the trees as well. What I want to do is I want to pick up a little different brush. I'm going to start with what I call a script brush. This is my script brush. It has long hairs on it and it comes to a needle point. So I can do the tops of these evergreen trees and then I can also do a thicker area because I have a wide body on this brush. So it's really two brushes in one and I can simply come in and do this entire evergreen tree this way and I'll show you another way. I'll pick up another brush in a moment. That's not the lesson plan. The lesson plan is soft edge, hard edge. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lay in some color. These are just tree colors that you would see, these greens and so forth. I'll pick up a little uh, lighter color just for a little variety of color going on. Let me continue on painting just a little bit more. And again, I want to show you how you can do a soft edge and hard edge combination on the tops of these trees to make your tree line just a little bit more interesting rather than having a hard edge everywhere. Have a variety of edge going on. Some trees are taller, some are shorter, of course. That's the beauty of nature. And then what we'll do is we'll continue on with a few more trees and then I'm going to soften this for you and show you how simple it can be to have an area of soft edge and hard edge going on with this tree line. Let's put a few more over here, just a couple more. See how quickly this goes? The script brush works perfect for this. So I'm going to do just a little bit more, a little more color here. 
and then what I want to do, and I would suggest to you that you soften the edge relatively soon. Don't wait too long because, you know, the color will set in about 30 seconds or so and you won't be able to move it. So if you're going to move color, do it within the first 30 seconds from the time you lay it down. Now what I'm doing is I'm looking for a soft edge and a hard edge combination here. So I've got some hard edge going on, I've got some soft edge going on. I'm going to pick up again my thirsty brush. When I say thirsty, it's not a special brush. It's my regular brush, but I just clean it, get the excess water out, and then what I do is I just come in and sweep that across like so, and I'll soften a couple of edges of the tree line. So now I have a combination in here of soft edge and hard edge going on. And that's the way it looks in nature. When you look out into nature, you have soft edges and hard edges going on throughout the entire uh, landscape. I hope you've enjoyed this particular lesson plan. And remember, if you'd like to uh, check out some of my other uh, DVDs and so forth, go to TomJonesArtist.com, my website, or email me at Tom at TomJonesArtist.com and let me know what you think. I'd like to hear from you. Thank you for joining me.